seven years ago, I was in a place where I didn't have a voice. Seven years ago, I tried to be heard, but I wasn't. Because I was 15, and a lot of kids don't have voices when they're 15, especially when they're in the foster care system. Seven years ago, because my voice didn't matter to anyone, I almost died. But now, I'm here, and I'm 22, and I have a voice. I have a voice because I'm no longer in the foster care system. I have a voice because I'm not considered an adolescent. I have a voice because I choose to have a voice. I have a voice because I know what it feels like to not have a voice, to not be heard, to feel like you're invisible and to feel like you're worth nothing. And because of that, I want to use my voice. I want to stand up. I want to be loud. I want to be seen, and I will be seen. Because I know what my voice is worth, because I almost didn't have one at all. This video is for all the people, adolescent or otherwise, in foster care or otherwise. It's for all of you who feel like you don't have a voice. You do. And if you're not treated that way now, know that if you, if you keep going, there will become a time where you do have a voice. I know it's hard. I know it's sometimes impossible to imagine a place where you have a voice because it's just so untrue right now. But keep going, keep living. You will, because you do. You just have to get to a place where you don't care if anyone hears you. You will talk until people do. Because you're worth it. You're worthy of being hurt. I was when I was 15, and I am now. But I wouldn't know that if I didn't keep going. And I almost didn't. That I was saved. And there are a lot of people aren't, that aren't. Don't become one of those people. Become heard. I hear you. People will hear you. This video is for my 15 year old self and for everyone else who is still there. Keep fighting. I did. You can too. Please never stop. I care about you all. Jared cares about you too. We're gonna say goodbye. Goodbye from Jay and Kay.